what is the most valuable lesson that you learned as an athlete? Man, the thing that I use even now to this day, like the thing I use right now is that work. Like you put in that work, you, you'll you see some type of results. Like, and you know, it's different because I came from the sports industry, which is still the entertainment industry. But with my sports background, I know that if I get my normal shots up, get my normal routine in, I feel the most prepared I can be. Usually there'll be results to, to follow. Well, it's a little bit different in the entertainment industry because you can put in that work, you can be on your grind, but in the entertainment industry, things have to go right, you know, opportunities have to go right. And so I've just learned that from sports, when you put in that work, you put yourself in a position to be ready for when those opportunities come in entertainment. And that's kind of been the, the whole story of my life when it comes to entertainment. Yeah, I really want to understand more about that. You were in college, you're playing professionally, but that's one of the realities of sports that it comes to an end. Your career comes to an end. You're going to have to start another career. You're going to have to start a second act. You're going to have to figure out where things are going once you step off the court. And did you always know you wanted to get into entertainment after? Yeah, I actually did. Um... I always knew I wanted to stay around sports because I talked about it. I got this this love Jones for sports and, and basketball. So I knew at the end of the day, I wanted to just gravitate towards that. And so I ended up having a communications major from UConn thinking that it's going to take me into broadcasting somewhere as an analyst or, you know, a host. And I had no idea what was coming for me. You know, that's why I meant by that hard work and being prepared because I can remember when I first came out of school, I was doing – ESPN games but they weren't the headliner games you know it wasn't the number one versus number two team it was teams that some people may not know any of the players that play on the teams those were the call the games I was calling but I was getting my reps in and then you know when I was taking various jobs speaking engagements a lot of them were what I call for the honor in a sense of they're not paying me to do it but I'm doing it for the honor of being there and so yeah I, I learned I learned a lot about myself in those times like how do you prepare when it's it's not the number one versus number two seed you know like when you're calling a big game or when you're playing in a big game yeah you're locked in you're focused you're gonna get your best you but I started just making a routine and a habit of this is how I'm gonna prepare when I'm calling any game I don't care if it's this game that players people don't know the players on it or if it's a big game that everybody knows every player and that's kind of how I started to build my, I would say, my routine when it came to the entertainment side of things because while you can't control it as much as you can control sports, you can be ready. 